Hello, I'm Dr. Emily Downing, and I've spent my career caring for the elderly population. I'm also the president of the Minnesota Association of Geriatric Inspired Clinicians, otherwise known as MAGIC. We are the leading Minnesota geriatric provider association. MAGIC represents physicians, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, pharmacists, and senior housing leaders from all the major health systems in Minnesota, and we work in almost all the senior housing and nursing homes in Minnesota. Much of MAGIC's focus this past year has been on understanding the science behind COVID and providing guidance to providers and senior housing partners on the ongoing COVID pandemic. We understand there may be safety concerns about the COVID vaccines and are here to share the science supporting the vaccines. MAGIC is proud to sponsor this video to share the facts and dispel any myths you may have heard. Thank you for your dedication to caring for the elderly population. We hope you join me and all of us in getting the COVID vaccine to protect our community, your family, and yourself. Hi, my name is Dr. Simon Middle, and I'm here to talk about the science of the vaccine. It's important to remember that the vaccine cannot give someone COVID, and it doesn't alter their DNA. The COVID vaccine does not contain any form of the virus. It builds an immune response to fight the virus. The vaccine teaches our cells to produce antibodies against spike proteins which are found in the cell wall of the virus. What does this mean? It means that if you get the vaccine and you're exposed to COVID, there's a 94 to 95% chance that you will not get COVID. And for the small percentage of people who do develop symptoms, the symptoms tend to be much milder. The current COVID vaccines are different from any other vaccines that have been developed. These are messenger RNA vaccines known as mRNA. The science behind this type of vaccine is not new. It's been around for decades and it's been well studied. In short, the COVID vaccine does not contain any form of the virus. It helps protect your body if you were to come into contact with the virus in the future. Hi, I'm Dr. Miguel Ruiz, and I'm here to tell you that although we understand that some may be concerned about the safety of these new vaccines, because they have been developed and tested faster than those in the past, as mentioned, this type of vaccine is building on decades of scientific work. We assure you the speed of the vaccine development is not from skipping important safety steps, but rather the result of focused collaborative work performed by experts across the globe. The vaccines approved by the US FDA have undergone similar safety and effectiveness testing as other vaccines and have been tested in tens of thousands of people and already administered to millions, including older adults and diverse populations. My name is Ruby Shane and I'm a nurse practitioner. The pandemic disproportionately impacts communities of color. As people of color, we are at the greatest risk for severe complications if we were to become sick with COVID, yet we are the least likely to accept the vaccine. The lack of trust between people of color and the healthcare system is from centuries of inequities and mistreatment, and this may cause people of color to not want to get the vaccine. Although this mistrust and fear is absolutely warranted, we suffer more from not getting the vaccine. We should not allow the opportunity to get a life-saving vaccine to worsen health inequities in our healthcare system today, and that is why I got my COVID vaccine. Although the vaccine was politicized and received a lot of attention during the recent election, it's important to remember the government did not have a role in the development and research of the vaccine process, except for providing federal funding. The government did not expedite the process, nor compromise any safety or the strict regulations around vaccine development. Scientists developed these vaccines. Every study, every phase, and every trial was reviewed by the FDA and the safety board to ensure the vaccine is effective and well tolerated. Hi, I'm Yi, I'm a nurse practitioner. Most people who are vaccinated will develop a mild immune response, also known as side effects or reactions. Those are expected as your body is mounting an immune response, meaning your body is developing protection against COVID. The most common immune responses, including soreness in your arm, where you got the shot, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, or fever, which typically only lasts one to two days. We are very real, as with any vaccine or anything else put into our bodies. Allergic reactions can occur. 
the nursing staff and pharmacists that will be administering the vaccinations will monitor for reactions and are prepared to manage any reaction that occurs. We do know that pregnancy is a high-risk condition for COVID and pregnant women should have the option to receive the vaccine. Many vaccines are routinely given in pregnancy and have been proven to be safe, for example, flu shots. The COVID vaccines do not contain any form of the virus. The COVID vaccines do not contain ingredients that are known to be harmful to pregnant women or to the fetus. Additionally, the Academy of Breastfeeding Medicine supports vaccine use in lactating women and say it may provide added protection to the nursing baby. There is also a lot of false information about the risks of infertility. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine notes that because COVID vaccines do not contain any form of the virus, they are not thought to cause an increased risk of infertility, pregnancy loss, or birth defects. We have seen the devastation COVID has brought inside our communities. We are confident that the scientific achievement of these COVID vaccines will bring us one step closer to enjoying life and our loved ones again. Join us in protecting our community members by getting vaccinated. Encourage others to get vaccinated. Share this video on your social media pages. If you work at a senior community, reach out to your facility's medical providers if you have any questions. Thank you. I got my COVID vaccine. I got my vaccine. I got my COVID vaccine. I got my vaccine. I got my COVID vaccine. I got my vaccine. I got my COVID vaccine.